Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar. Today we will be talking about the contracts for difference and an introduction. So we're just waiting for a few more minutes for a few more attendees to log on. In the meanwhile, some just some housekeeping matters. You can, if you have any questions, feel free to type it in the questions box. Okay, let's get started. So before I go into the full presentation, here are some disclaimers. Please note that these presentation slides are provided to you just for pure education and does not constitute a recommendation whatsoever. Please take some time to go through the points in the slides. Please also note that CFDs may not be suitable for all clients because it is a leveraged product and it comes with a lot of risks. Please also note that CFD is off the exchange, which means it's over-the-counter OTC. And Philip Securities will be acting as a counterparty. Under the new regulations under MES, CFE is a specified investment product and therefore retail customers have to have relevant assessment before you are allowed to trade the CFE. Okay, let's go into the uh, presentation proper. So what is Contracts for Difference? Contracts for Difference is a derivative product. So it allows you to trade the price movement of an underlying share on the index or an ETF. But please note that you do not own the actual shares of the company. As I said earlier on, so it is a contract between yourself, the client, and the brokerage house, see uh, Philip Securities in this case. So it is a contractual agreement between both parties and to settle the difference between the closing and the opening price the close of the contract. So contracts for different CFD, it is a trading instrument that should be complementing your existing portfolio and your trading strategies because it's convenient to short sell, it's flexible, allows you to do uh, several kinds of trading strategies and you can diversify to up, times, up to 10 times leverage. So as I said that uh, Contracts for Difference, it allows you to short sell without having to borrow a share so there's no penalties unlike traditional stocks. And you only need to do this under one account. You do not need to maintain an SDL or a margin ac account. If you have a Poems account or a CFD account, you can just do this. Therefore, it allows you to change your strategies very flexibly. So. A lot of people ask us, what is leverage? For example, your stock price, you will have to give the whole full contract value uh, in order to trade the normal stocks. Whereas for stock CFE, you have to only fork out 10, as low as 10% of the margin for the same stock. And the fact that there's low capital outlay means that you can diversify across different markets. And as you can see from this slide, we have equities and indices, CFDs for you to long and short in Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, Taiwan, 
US and even Hong Kong. So it's a great tool for you to diversify your portfolio. So how do you trade a CFE? It's pretty, very, very easy because our prices quoted are live prices with no additional spread. So you just buy on the ask and you sell on a bid. So a little bit more of uh, understanding of what CFEs are. Okay, so when stock price, stock ABC, the buy price is one, our CFD bid price is exactly the same. Same with the sell and the ask side. Again, our golden rule is buy on the ask, sell on the bid. How do you place orders? So there is a market price and you place it according to either Poems, our CFD Trader 2, or even your Poems mobile. Then we will do pre-execution checks before it is uh, routed to the hedging desk. And then it will be filled when we are able to hedge our exposure. So you can even place Q trades. So again, you place Q trade, checks, it's routed to the hedging desk, Q in the system. If it matches, then you'll be filled. So things to note about putting in CFE trades. As you can notice, the timing is not exactly the same as the SGX. It's one minute after and one minute before. But we also follow the non-cancel period. And we also have a non-submission period. Please note that for all Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong and US equity CFE, we do allow partially done order. So, we have something called DMA CFE. What exactly is it? It stands for Direct Market Access. And this means that we will send a corresponding order to the exchange when you put in your order. So it allows you to diversify again up to 10 times leverage. You can participate in the market liquidity and the order book exchange. So you can assess your pre-opening, pre-closing, and even place overnight orders. So as I was saying, it, you can participate in the liquidity of the market through EMA. Why is this so? It's because of the corresponding order that we put into the, into the exchange. So you are trading directly with the other market participants, but at only a fraction of the capital outlay. And unlike share CFD, DMA CFD is based on last time price and price time priority. So as I was saying, this is the order book. So the buy volume, as you can see, is 48,000 at 0.85. So you put in an DMA order for one lot. We submit it, and then you can see in the order book, it changes to 49,000. So what is the difference between DMA CFE and share CFE? As this graph shows you, we send to an order to exchange. So you participate in the order book of the exchange and it's done on last done price. Whereas for share CFE, it's lower in commission. Your orders are done solely based on the bid and ask prices and it may or may not be reflected in the exchange because this depends on our hedger's discretion. So as I said, there's now a bid ask in the last done price. If you trade stocks, it's exactly the same. And therefore, the trading hours follows exactly the same as the stocks. So how do you trade CFE then? We have share CFE, share CMA, bull indices. Your Market orders are subject to fills based on your volume. It, so therefore, it means it can be fully done, partly done, or rejected totally. Please note that your share CFD order cannot be closed out the DMA order and vice versa. Corporate actions. We cater for cash adjustments, 
But please know that if you're in a short position, you have to pay the gross dividends. Whereas if you're in a long position, you'll receive the amount equivalent to net dividends. There will be quantity adjustments for your bonus, stock splits, and script dividends. Um, okay, my slides are slightly outdated, but we do cater for certain rights and warrants issues. So we will be sending out emails to our clients if there is a corporate action and we would therefore um, send more, more um, uh, details as to how the rights will be filled. Okay. Yeah. So what exactly is World Indices? World Indices is a form of CFD that allows clients to trade the underlying index and although it tracks the level of the index, the prices may differ from the actual index levels because we are following the futures prices. So in this sense, you can now trade an index. Take, taking the SCI for example, so your investor may have a bullish view and on the SCI and then he buys or he longs an SCI CFD contract at 2350. And then when it increases, he sells off his contract and then he receives the profit. But of course the opposite may be true and he makes a loss. So in this sense, the investor may take a bearish view and then um, he, he short sells the SCI CFD. And when the level increases, he sells it, he buys it back and then he incurs a loss. Okay. So we now have 15 World Indices CFDs for you to long and short. And uh, we've added two new World Indices recently, the India 50 Index and the Indonesia Index USD1 CFD. We are very proud to have um, the China A50, the Hong Kong, and, uh, and even the KLS, KLCI. So these are markets that used to be very closed off, but now you have an opportunity to take a view and diversify your portfolio even further. So the features of the World Indices CFD, it gives you exposure to broad-based stock markets movement, and you're trading on the total rise and fall. So there is even more leverage on this. We've got 20 times, which means that our margins go as low as 5%. So this is how our contracts go. This is the name of the index. This is the contract size of how one point um, cost. So that's why as you see value of one index point, five dollars. Your contract size is this times the price of index itself at that point in time and how many contracts you are buying. Please note that for all world indices CFD, the minimum contract size is just one. So we have target spreads as well. And in this case for the SCI it's four initial margin is 5%, therefore your maintenance margin is also 5%. So what we mean by target spread is 4 means that the bid and ask can be plus minus 2 on both sides. The reason why we have a spread is so that there is a bid and ask. Okay. So this is a real ex example in terms of putting in figures so you can see how much you actually need. In terms of margin to trade one contract, say the, the SCI is at three thousand, it will be seven hundred fifty dollars only. So again, golden rule: buy on the ask, sell on the bid. And even for world in the CFD, you will be able to participate in corporate actions. So again, when you are in a long position, you will receive cash adjustments. If you are in a short position, you will pay the cash adjustments and the cash adjustment is done only on the exercise date. And how do we calculate the dividend adjustment? Very, very simple. It, we first calculate what's the equivalent number of shares. So this is the quantity of your index contract times the settlement price at uh, market close times the value of that index point. And then, of course, we have to take into consideration the stock weightage on the index over the settlement price. So it's pretty easy, it is automatically calculated for you. So why CFD is so popular is because it can be used as a hedging tool. So this is regardless of whether you're using equities or even world indices CFD. 
So let's assume that client A bought one lot of um, ABC component shares uh, at 1543 on the 15th of April, but the price came down. This is on the stock side. So what options does he have? Let's just assume that there are bearish, the whole market is bearish. First, he does not trade CFE, so he will have to sell it off and make a loss of two over two thousand dollars. But if he has CFE, he can hedge. So he can hedge fully or he can hedge partially. Hedge fully means that he will just hedge by shorting the exact counter uh, stock or hedge partially by establishing an opposite position using a correlated instrument such as the STI CFE. So this is a good hedge against any portfolio of blue chip stocks and you save on clearing and you keep dividends even on the cash position. Okay, so again, um, you can short sell that STI MCB5 CFE at um, this price and buy back again at 2750 on um, on the 10th of June. So this is his eventual net loss. He loses only less than a thousand dollars because he profits from the hedging position as opposed to previously he would have made a net loss of over two thousand dollars. So this is the whole concept of hedging. So why do people even hedge? So because some people feel that once they leave the market it's very very hard to re-enter. So that's why they hedge with the same stock itself. But then again he will still make a lesser loss or he doesn't even make a loss in this case if he's using the exact same stock CFD. So again, um, a working example on how you long a share. In this case, the client is bullish and he decides to buy. Okay. So there are many instruments that he can use can do by stock, CFE, or even DMA. Looking at the initial capital, remember I was saying that CFE and DMA CFE only requires 10% margin. So that's why the initial capital is only 10% of your stock's position. Closing price is exactly the same. We do not add on spreads. So commission-wise, it's even um, lesser because Commission share CFE is lesser than DMA, and um, there is no clearing of SS speed. Of course, stocks does not have finance charge, whereas for our share CFE and DMA CFE we do. And so when it closes off, again, your net profit and loss is almost exactly the same, but of course the ROE is much much higher. But then again, remember CFE is a double-edged sword. Leverage is a double-edged sword. So again, if, if you make a loss, you, your ROE can be a lot more amplified. But then again, you must remember that this is based on your initial capital. Okay, so now it's a short position. So assuming that you know he is bearish on the stock and he decides to short sell it. And if you borrow from SBL, you will need to pay extra fees. As you can see, you, they also charge finance charges. And you need to have an SBL account. Otherwise, you can just use a uh, short sale with CFD, share CFD. What happens if you make a loss? Again, as I said, the losses will be amplified. So what other issues do you have to note when it comes to trading CFE? There are some important definitions that you'll need to take note of. First of all is equity balance. So this means it's your ledger minus any unrealized finance charges and then plus minus any unrealized profits or losses. And then on uh, maintenance margin. So this depends on what uh, stock it is. So it's 10 to 30 percent of the portfolio market value. Another thing is your margin excess or deficit. So this is your uh, equity balance minus this maintenance margin. 
in. So do note that it's subject to change because sometimes when a um, stock gets too volatile, we may increase the maintenance margin. Okay, so a lot of people ask whether there is an expiration to CFEs. There is no expir expiration, but we do have a 30-day rollover without any rollover charges. Say on day one, <coughs> you sell it, and then on 30 days, we will buy it back and we will sell it again at this market and close price. And then on the 11th day again, you buy it back. Then we will charge you the closing commission. So it's only on the 30th day that your profits and losses will be realized. And finance charges too. Okay. There is no um, rollover charge. So you must have a maintenance margin in your ledger in order to keep that CFE trade. And your, that means your equity balance must be more or equal to your maintenance margin. So remember I was telling you earlier on that you must have your portfolio market value of 10%. So this is why your maintenance margin is very important. If it slips below that, we will um, if it's just less than 10% of the market value, you'll get a two-day margin call. If it's less than 5% of the market value, you get a one-day margin call. So for two days margin call, you have to fulfill this market uh, margin, maintenance margin by either having a cash top-up or you do an electronic payment transfer via your ATM on day one before 9 p.m. or you can close off your position totally. If you do not fulfill your one-day uh, margin call, you will be forced sold by 3 p.m. on that day. So margin deficit is subject to penalty charges. Please note that there will be a um, there will be a interest charge on a margin deficit, and these are our charges. Please note that there is no automatic currency conversion for foreign currencies. So if you know that you are going to trade in U.S. stocks, Hong Kong stocks, or um, Malaysian stocks, please convert to the conversion already and there will be separate um, uh, ledgers in your equity. But if you have excess margin, there will be interest earned. And of course, we are not a bank, so that's why it needs to be of uh, 50000 and above before you can get this interest. So why choose Philip CFE now? We have been voted the Investor's Choice Awards for BICIAS for three years in the running right now. And uh, for two years running, we have the largest, we are the largest CFE provider by the total number of relationships. We also have an experienced um, CFD team that you can always call or even email if you have um, any queries. We also have comprehensive educational programs and seminars that you can uh, that are free or either paid. You can just go to our website and click on education seminars and sign up for a register for any of our seminars. And if you join us as a new client, you will get a complimentary TA work, one day TA workshop, which will allow you will teach you how about technical analysis. So this will allow you to better your trading uh, strategies and um, when you trade your CFEs. We also have the best counter list in Singapore. We have over 400 equity CFEs to long and short. So this is the updated number. For Singapore, we've got 425, Malaysia 143, in total more than 1,400 CFEs for you to long and short. So what? how can you do it? We've got three platforms. So we've got Poems, which I think a lot of people are familiar. It's just a click away. And we have a new feature, which you can just right click on the stock itself. And this is called Chartlist. And ChartWiz, what ChartWiz does is that it allows you to pull up certain information 
and have technical events, you can put in certain um, alerts, then it will help you to screen out certain stocks for you to actually take a look and see which stocks you can put in a position in. So how can you trade CSEs? Please note that um, our US stocks are all DMA. You can put in limit order, stock limit, trailing stock, OCO, contingent, and market order. For all your stock limit, trailing, OCO, contingent order, and market order, uh, sorry, not market order, stock limit, trailing, OCO, contingent order, this is only available on the CFT Trader 2 platform. And if you want to know how exactly to put in these orders, um, we have some videos on our CFD Trader 2 which you can view either on our website or on our YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash So here's an explanation of the order types. A limit order is a very simple order to buy or sell at a specific price upon submission or better. Your stock limit order is a combination of a stock and a limit order. So it means that once it hits a stock price, the stock limit order becomes a limit order. You can just think of the stock price as a trigger. A trailing stock is an order that uh, you set a percentage below or above the market price and then um, the order will just move along. OCO is if one part of the order is executed, another part is automatically cancelled. So some people pre like to use this as a profit taking and stop loss feature. Contingent order means that it's not activated until a parent order is done. Market order is of course in order to buy or sell at the current market price. So as I said, only these are available on the CFD Trader 2 platform. And here is our CFD Trader 2 platform. You will receive an email with instructions to down how, how to download the CFD Trader 2. If you want to get more information on the features, how to get, or some help, again, it's on our website under trading platform. We also have Polis Mobile on the iPhone and the iPad, so you can also trade on the move. You can enjoy com competitive commission rates. And we've also dropped our minimum commission for the US. And you will also get 500 days free financing. All of this information again can be found on our website. If you have a view on the US, now is a very, very good time to actually enter the US stock indices because we have dropped our commission and our long finance charges. So we have a new client uh, promotion where you'll get a full day technical workshop as I said, a four week email training program and even up to $200 worth of trading credits on your six opening trades. So you need to open a totally new CFD account and this is your opening trades. For our existing customers, if you qualify for our Frequent Traders program, which means that in a month, commission accrued is $500, you get the edge, the thousand, you get the edge, and the chart nexus expert trader. If you clock, if you accrue 2000 in commission in a month, you get the edge, chart nexus expert trader, trading credits, as well as special commission rates for the following quarter. We also have a refer a friend program where you will stand to receive $100 CFD trading credits for every successful referral or your friend will receive $50 trading credits. So there are certain terms and conditions. Your friend has to do three trades by the uh, end of three months in order to qualify. So we also have another promotion for our current clients. When you do one CFD trade per month, you will receive chart list access as well as the trend forecast report. If you don't already have a Philips account, there are a few Philips accounts for you to take a look at. 
So we've got cash management, custodian, financial, and margin. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, foot margin account. It allows you, like CFD, it allows you to pledge, collect, um, have leverage. And what's more is that this, this allows you to pledge collateral. So you can leverage up to three times on your stock side. There is a default credit limit and you get to uh, invest your excess fund in our money make it market making fund. Sorry about that. And it's multi-currency just like our CFD. So before you begin trading, please read our product information sheet, terms and conditions and risk disclosure very carefully from our website. And please attend all our other educational seminars because this will really help you have a better understanding of the product. And of course, we encourage you to familiarize yourself with the platforms before you organize any tutorials. Should you have any queries, please contact your trading representative or the CFE desk. Thank you. Um, so if these are our contact details. You can always send us an email or you can um, tweet us via Twitter. If you have Facebook, please go on to Facebook and like us. Or if you want to call us for more information, feel free to do so. So we have reached the end of, our pres of my presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to type it in the question box. Or if you want to raise your virtual hand, please do so, and I will unmute your, your um, mic. We have a question about choosing between DMA and share CFD. Um, I, it's really up to you, your choice, whether you want to trade DMA or share CFD. Some clients just prefer to have DMA, to trade solely in DMA because they, they want to take part in the exchange book. But of course, when you're closing off your position, you're liquidating your position, you cannot close off a DNA with share CFD and vice versa. Are there any more questions? Okay, it looks like there are no questions. If there are no questions, thank you very much. But once again, if you have any queries, feel free to drop us an email. Go to our website, which is philipscfd.com. You can also follow us on Twitter for the latest market updates. We also give updates via our Facebook. And we also have contest details on um, our recent promotion, which is our trading arena. So do go to our website, take a look. Call us if you have any queries as well.
so that is the end of my presentation. Thank you, and we hope to see you at our future event.